Welcome to Global One Media's Stocks to Watch series, our exclusive one-on-one discussions with company executives sharing insights, ultimately to help investors make informed investment decisions. I'm Ashley Berry, and it is my pleasure to welcome Andrew Kegel, CEO and co-founder of Tokens.com, along with Matt McMullen, newly appointed president and director. Tokens.com provides investors with exposure to cutting-edge technologies, including robotics and AI. They're trading on the Canadian TSXV as COIN, the Frankfurt Stock Exchange as 76M, and the OTCQB in the United States as Smurf. Welcome, Andrew and Matt. Thanks for having us, Ashley. It's a pleasure to have you with us. So to Andrew, I'd like to start with you. Tokens.com has recently merged with Simulacra. That's an AI company that produces humanoid robots. And as you stated in a recent announcement, this acquisition really makes sense from an investment standpoint, providing shareholders exposure to disruptive technologies that are really defining the future. It'd be great if you could break that down for us. Yeah, I think at Tokens.com, we've always looked for what's next. Uh, We were pioneers in things like metaverse real estate, um, things like staking tokenized uh, tokens. And now we've taken a big leap into the robotics and AI space, really the convergence of hardware and software. And uh, we're really excited about this partnership with uh, Simulacra and, and Matt. And it really sounds like the way of the future. And, you know, for our viewers, Simulacra really has three subsidiaries. So, Matt, one of your robots, I understand, was featured in Saudi Arabia speaking Arabic. How are you able to accomplish that? Yeah, we actually built uh, two different robots uh, for them. um, And they developed uh, a lot of the control systems, including their own um, language uh, processing and being able to access uh, some of the large language models and other languages. So predominantly we worked with them on the software uh, hardware integration so that they were able to accomplish that. Fascinating. And Matt, this this partnership really must be um, very interesting, very important for you. Uh, Just kind of talk a little bit about what enticed you to join tokens.com. Well, there's, you know, there's a lot of layers to it. I mean, first and foremost, uh, when I first met Andrew, we kind of really got along right away um, and just kind of kindred spirits, you know, with with um, with an eye on like what could be uh, very exciting and how we could work together. And from there, I think we we grew a friendship um, and, and obviously started talking a lot about potential business uh, together. Uh, For me, this is probably uh, the greatest opportunity I've ever had. And I've really had my sights on figuring out how to take what I've done into a public market space. And uh, with Andrew and with Token's help, we've we've now been able to do that. So we're, we're very, very excited about kind of what comes next. And Ashley, I would just add to that is, you know, I think Matt and I are are both seasoned executives, but we're also, you know, have that childhood excitement at heart and like who doesn't want to work with robots that can communicate with you and all these other interesting things that we're working on Uh, it's really as an adult a bit of a a dream come true to be focused focusing in on this area fantastic you know like matt said you know just really some synergies kindred spirits i find it fascinating uh matt that your humanoid robots can provide care to the elderly maybe you can talk more about that and how it's really changed people's lives using sort of uncensored ai and you could maybe explain to our viewers what that means and and how this robot is used well there are really um yet to be discovered uh, thousands of uses for a robot like this um I think that when you're when you're referring to elderly people, um, there is a very large um, uh, issue, I think, these days with loneliness. And mm-hmm. a lot of times elderly people who are retired and perhaps live alone, maybe they lost their spouse and, you know, they don't maybe get out much. They don't have a, a big social circle. And this technology is really perfect for that. Uh, it will allow for creating a uh, um, a being, if you will, that can occupy the space in their home and actually create a friendship with them. And and part and parcel of that is by really looking at AI in a completely different way, not so much as a tool for some kind of function like 
driving a car or monitoring your oven, but actually being programmed and created explicitly to create connection with a human being. And the robot is the conduit for that connection. So having the robot look natural and, and look human-like is very, very important to fostering that human-like interaction that we want with our AI technology. And I really think all of us can identify with that. We all know folks that are older, the aging population. So uh, really important there. Um, Andrew, I'd like to ask you with this acquisition, you are truly entering new markets and, and how large is the market and what is the growth rate given that it's still early in the stages of growth? Well, it's it's a massive market. I mean, it's projected anywhere, you know, in, in the high billions to the trillion dollar markets. You know, the CEO of NVIDIA recently said that he thinks uh, robots will be available for household use in the very near term. Hmm. Um, simply put, you know, back to what Matt was saying, while most other robotics companies are trying to create robots to carry a box from one end of the warehouse to the other, we're finding more immediate use cases. Um, you know, the robots that have been created by Matt have been used by the U.S. military. We're talking about things that are, you know, in the household, things that can be used in a hospital, at home, even in the office space. You know, we've been talking about, as crazy as this sounds, using an, uh, an AI-enabled robot that we have to sit on the board of directors of our company. And you might say, well, you know, hmm. that sounds like a little bit strange, but let's say that I think that robots can be superior to humans in some ways. They have better access and interpretation of governance law. They're unbiased for race or gender. And these are all types of positive things that we can bring as an addition to our board and to complement the people that are already there. Very interesting. Uh, and and no, I don't think that people would scuff at that. I think that that truly when you think about AI and the way of the future and just what AI can already accomplish, uh, I certainly see a space for that uh, personally. Um, Matt- I think we all have to watch out for our jobs. Like we might all be replaced <laughs> by an, an AI well, robot soon, right? I, I wanted to stop short of that, of course, you know, and then you're hearing all these where they can mimic voices and then like what happens to the voiceover artists? Like it, it is, it's, it's a little concerning, but at the same time, like you said, they have access to things that our brains simply don't that quickly. Um, so as the founder of Simulacra, Matt, and given your knowledge, of the industry. Um, do those projections that Andrew just talked about, trillion dollar market size, align with your projections? And, and what encouraging trends really are you witnessing in this sector of AI and humanoid robots? Uh, yes, I definitely concur with, with Andrew's vision in terms of uh, where this is headed. Um, and, and I think it's very easy to look around uh, in the world right now everyone is very excited about AI. And, you know, there's people who are equally concerned about it and in some cases, rightly so. But I think more than that, we're seeing a very natural adoption mentally. People are having of, wow, this, this technology is here. How can it help me? You know, and, and a lot of people are really focusing on how can it help me on, on this business side of things? But, you know, then we start thinking, what about the personal side? You know, how can we use this technology to actually help people personally and change their lives for the better? And so I think we are going to start seeing all different types of robots in different types of roles interacting with us out in the world and in our homes uh, as we step into the next century. Fantastic. And I'll ask Andrew, you know, what do you believe the impact of AI and robotics will be in the short term and, of course, the long term? So there's many different places where AI and robotics will impact. So it can be anywhere from the, you know, the automotive warehouse to the Amazon warehouse. Our focus is a little more what I would call immediate and intimate. Uh, you touched upon earlier that our AI is um, unfiltered and uncensored. Mm -hmm. What that means is, is that can build a connection with you, you know, as funny as it sounds, it can be your boyfriend or your girlfriend or just a friend, someone that you can talk to and remembers you. And we're sort of trying to marry that with something that is physical so that people can have that interaction and, you know, to deal with things like loneliness or in the case of a hospital, it can, you know, it can come into your room and say, you know, you know, hi, Ashley, here is your stuff today. 
Um, how is your family? Is there anything you want to communicate back to the doctor? And so there's all kinds of uses that we're thinking of, which are much more personal and intimate in nature, as opposed to the industrial use cases that are out there right now, which are also massive. But I think we're focused more again on the interpersonal. And, you know, we use the quote, using robots to, you know, for learning, communication and play. It's like truly having a companion. Um, Matt, what do, you, what do you think this merger will really, how will it give a strong boost, do you think, to Simulacra's operations and progress in the markets? Well, I think giving um, investors an opportunity to be part of this um, helps them and it helps us, obviously, you know, because none of this uh, technology that we're developing is easy or free and obviously costs money to do the research and you know you, there there's inevitably trial and error involved and we've been really going at this now for almost 10 years on the development side and so this is going to give us a huge boost uh financially to be able to really grow our staff and bring in some talent and push the boundaries of what our hardware and software will be capable of in the very near future and I'll ask you both, why right now is Tokens.com a compelling investment opportunity for our listeners and our viewers? You know, I think we're one of the most unique companies in the world. Uh, if you look at our, our legacy here, which is we still own a large stack of cryptocurrencies that have continued to appreciate. We have exposure through our ownership of StoryFire of a, a pretty hot social media company, which is where uh, our gaming and digital land assets now reside. Um, which is very cool. And it's AI and robotics with a business that is actually currently running well and producing revenue. And I don't know of any other public company in the world that can give investors exposure to those items all together, which is, you know, I like to say these are all technologies that are disrupting the norm and defining what the future is going to look like. And so I think that's pretty unique to tokens.com and should be getting investors excited about what's to come here over the course of the next couple of years. Yeah, and to, to add to that, I think that at this point in time, you know, anyone who, who's watching this and thinking this is interesting, um, this is a chance to kind of get in at the early stages, you know, before we get a little deeper into this and, and uh, truly start to blow people's minds with what we can do. Yeah, I would say take it one step further, uh, beyond interesting, fascinating, many innovations going on here, really exciting. Uh, Andrew Kegel, co-founder and CEO of Tokens.com, and Matt McMullen, newly appointed president and director. Thank you both for sharing this fascinating story with us, and we look forward to sharing more with our audience in the near future. Best of luck to both of you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.